Hey guys, happy Friday. So I was out this morning doing my uh, intervals, my running intervals, and I had this moment um, where I was trying to talk myself out of it. You know, I made a commitment to myself to go for my run and um, go up into this grassy, hilly area and do some high intensity intervals some ab work and a meditation. And I was talking myself out of it. I was making up a big exhausting story of, oh, I'll do it later. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, I don't feel like it. I really should do this because I made the commitment to myself, but I don't, I just don't want to. I don't have the energy. And I was having that conversation and I'm sure you can relate because I know we all do this and within my 15 years of inspiring people to take care of their well-being, I see this happen all the time. And just like a muscle, it takes strength to stop and notice what you're doing. So I stopped and I noticed how much energy I was putting towards that story and uh, how my mind was spinning around and around and around and creating this anxiety and worry and almost a, just a low level of panic that I didn't trust myself and that I wasn't going to do it. So then I stopped, I offered it over, gave it up to my higher power, my source, my essence my authentic self and I said I got this it's a piece of cake what am I doing wasting all this mental emotional physical energy on this story when I could just give it over and have a piece of cake attitude and trust that if I just showed up I will do my best so that's what I did I went up to that hilltop with that piece of cake attitude instead of the weight and the heaviness and the energy drain of that other story with all the excuses and all of the other things attached to it. And I showed up there and I was like, this is a piece of cake. I have six sets I need to do of high intensity interval mountain climbers. I'm gonna do it with a piece of cake attitude. And the energy, the motivation, the inspiration that that freed up for me and allowed me to access my personal power was so invigorating. And I did it. And instead of shooting on myself or blaming myself or worrying about the future or the past and worrying how much I should or shouldn't do or can't do or how tired I am or whatever else that energy draining story is, I just told myself, I got this. I'm gonna rock this and I'm gonna do it as if it's no freaking big deal. And I see this so much in all of my online communities. These women, they're just starting out. They make a huge deal out of everything. And that energy, that pressure, that intensity and that stress is the most draining thing. It is not the action. It is not the healthy practices. It's your relationship to it and how you are showing up moment to moment, how you are being in that moment. So it is Easter weekend. There is going to be many opportunities for you to not show up for your commitment to your well-being. And I want to invite you to, instead of stressing about it, worrying about it, shooting on yourself, cutting on yourself, whatever else, talking yourself out of actually doing it, just give it over to your higher power. Trust yourself. Access that personal power and say, I got this. It's a piece of cake. It'll happen. I'm going to show up. It's a non-negotiable and I'm going to do my best and that's it. And it's easy. Access the ease. Trade the self-defeating story for the ease and the joy and your personal power. It is a shift inside. It's not the doing. 
It's the mental, emotional, and then the physical. And if you want support, if you want accountability, if you want motivation, inspiration, and to access even more joy and ease in your well-being, come and add yourself to my coaching group. These are my colleagues that I am working with and they are looking for people like you. They are looking to help people who want to break through in their well-being because that is the foundation of our work. Well-being is so important. If you don't have well-being, you're, you're going to be pulling from that empty cup. And I know all of you guys who follow me, you know that and that's why you're attracted to me because I put my well-being as number one and that's what allows me to tap into my energy and passion and inspiration and share it with all of you. So add yourself to the link below and one of us coaches will add you and start your conversation on where you want that breakthrough in your well-being, in your health, in whatever aspect of your life that you really need that support, accountability, motivation, and inspiration with. So have a great Easter weekend, and I'll see you in my coaching group.